What's going on guys, it is James here, also known as Spencer Gaming. Welcome back to another video. What we're doing in today's video is we're going to be looking at the new killer in Chapter 14 within Dead by Daylight. What I have done now is I've just updated the game and I've put it onto a public test build. So it's telling me about the dev messages and stuff. This is my first time doing a, a public test build. And what we're going to do is we're going to play as the killer. And hopefully the killer should be in... The there it is, the Oni. Uh, I think I've pronounced that right, I'm not too sure. But this guy is an absolute brute. He looks like he's 8 foot tall and he has a samurai sword. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the teachable perks. <clears throat> okay, so we have um, Zanshin uh, tactic, Tactics. Sorry, It unlocks the potentials in one aura reading ability. You are mentally alerted and aware of key points on the battlefield. The auras of the of all of the pallets and the vault locations are revealed within 24 meter range. When a survivor is damaged, this perk becomes inactive for 40 seconds. That sounds like a decent perk. We have Blood Echo. We have the agony of one inflicted on others. When hooking a survivor, all of the other injured survivors suffer from hemorrhage uh, status effect until healed and the exhaustion status is for 45 seconds. <clears throat> and we also have Nemesis. You seek retribution on those who have wronged you. A survivor who blinds or stuns you using a pallet or locker becomes your obsession. Anytime a new survivor becomes the obsession, they are affected by the oblivious status effect for 40 seconds and their aura is shown for 4 seconds. Okay, so they like decent perks. Okay, so what we have is a lucky break. You've had your share of scrapes and bruises. But looks always on your side. Lucky break activates any time when you are injured. You won't leave trails of blood for a total of 120 seconds. That'd be a really good perk for other players uh, if you unlock the teachable within the blood web. Uh, any mean necessary. You stand up for yourself using whatever's on hand to gain an advantage. Press and hold the active ability button for three seconds while standing beside a dropped pallet to reset it so it's upright. So what this means is uh, if you knocked a pallet down, you can lift that pallet back up. And we have breakout. Uh, you kick into a high gear when someone's in trouble, inspiring them to overcome any obstacle. Within a when within six meters of a carried survivor, you gain a haze, haste. Sorry, uh, status effect moving at five percent increased speed. When carried survivor struggle speed is twenty percent. Okay, so if um, you can move faster and the uh, the survivors that are in a wiggle status, they, the wiggling is increased by 20%, so it's a lot faster. 